Hey what's up guys? In this video I'll be showing you how you can fix and repair errors on Outlook 2013 by making use of a repair tool. So if you have abruptly started to get errors on your Outlook 2013 profile or if Outlook 2013 is not responding on your computer, then all you have to do is just repair your PST file using a PST repair tool. In this video I'll be making use of a PST repair tool that I found at this link. So if you are looking to repair Outlook 2013 PST file, then you can just visit this link and click on the download now button that you see here. Now I will quickly run the software and I will show you how you can repair your Outlook 2013 PST file using this software. So keep watching as I explain to you the repair process. And here is how the main screen of this application looks like when you launch it on your computer. Open PST file. Find PST file and select Outlook profile. The first option that is open PST file lets you browse and select the PST file if you know the exact location of the PST file on your computer. Well, most of us wouldn't know the exact location of the PST file. In such scenarios, you can go with the second option where the software will scan your computer and will locate the PST file which can then be used for repair. Anyway, for this video, I already have the PST file on my desktop, so I'll go with the first option that is open PST file. So I'll click on the browse button that I see here and select the PST file that I'm looking to repair. So I've chosen the PST file. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on the next button and proceed further. You find two scanning methods that is normal scan and smart scan. Normal scan is relatively fast and will fix most of the errors on your PST file. Suppose if normal scan couldn't fix your PST file, then you can go with the second option that is smart scan which implements a more rigorous scanning method and will make sure that your PST file is repaired. So after selecting one of the two scanning methods, Come down and click on the browse button that you see here and select a folder to which you would like to save the repaired PST file. So once the PST file has been repaired, the new repaired PST file will be saved to this folder. That is PST folder which I already created on my desktop. So what I'll do here is I'll click on the repair button and repair the PST file which I chose in the previous step. And now the software begins to repair my PST file. So as the repair process progresses, the software will recover all the emails and other Outlook attributes that were present in my PST file. So what I'm going to do here is I'll wait for the repair process to complete, after which I'll be presented with all the emails and other stuff that was recovered from my Outlook profile. And we're done with the repair process and you can see that these were all the emails that were recovered from my Outlook PST file. And I click on destination which will take me directly to the folder where the repair PST file is saved to. This repair PST file can also be imported to my existing Outlook profile so that I can get back access to all my emails and other Outlook attributes. To know the procedure, I can click on this option that I see here. It gives me the procedure on how to import the PST file to my existing Outlook profile. So these are all the Outlook attributes that were recovered from my Outlook PST file which includes 621 emails as well as 64 sent items from my Outlook profile. So it's just simple to repair your Outlook 2013 PST file using this software and fix all the errors on Outlook 2013. And this software can support repair Outlook 2013 PST files of all sizes and will make sure that all your emails and other Outlook attributes are recovered back in a safe and secure manner. So don't worry if you run into an error on Outlook 2013. Just download the software by just visiting the link that I provided below and repair your PST file. Anyway, thanks for watching. So if you have any queries regarding this software, then you can just leave a comment in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. And do hit the like button if you like this video or subscribe to my channel to watch more of my upcoming videos.